Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Daily Vibration. As a matter of fact, thank you for checking into you today, okay? So, if you are new to the channel, whether you're tuning in via Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or my podcast, I want to welcome each and every one of you to the Daily Vibration. So, how was your Monday or your Moon Day, right? Now, let me just say this, right? You guys need to take notice that we're stepping into brand new energy, not stepping into like we've technically stepped into brand new energy and we've been kind of using um, the hundred days as more of a roadmap to how things are going to play out, especially leading up to um, the Virgo energy. Okay. Now, um, let me just say welcome. Today is April 13th, 2021. Keep in mind, however, my loves, it does not matter when you click, okay, on the video. If the message resonates and it vibrates, then you need to take what you need and leave what you do not because energy is fluid, okay? So you need to be mindful of that. So it doesn't matter if you don't click on this on the fourth month. 13th day of this year um but the message resonates and it vibrates you take it and if you you know you could just leave what you don't honey okay so with that being said let's get into what's going on here today you need to know okay right here off the back um that we now have um the sun in aries and the moon is currently in um the position of taurus okay now when we when we're literally going back to or at least when I'm recording it okay we're currently in taurus so give me a second let me just make sure um when the moon transits okay so the moon is entering gemini on the 15th okay so for the next two days we are pretty much in the energy of taurus okay so this is interesting energy because if you're sensitive you can already feel the shift kind of happening all right so with this new moon that we just had on sunday all right you really should have been able to take that energy from aries because the new moon happened in aries this is first house energy this is all about you being able to move forward okay so if you haven't established yourself within this energy you need to do so right now especially you need to do so around your money or how you're going to get things done or completion okay now, I also want to say if you are, um, if you're not mindful, this energy can also cause you to isolate yourself. So you don't want to be isolating yourself within this energy. It's important for you to be able to have a support system, a soul group, a soul tribe, a community, okay? Make sure that you have yourself planted in an area that can support your ideas, your emotions, your feelings, you know, um, the physical support, okay? So put yourself in positions and in relationships, okay, where you can have that support and give that support to others that's going to be important as we're moving throughout this energy okay especially when we jump into taurus season okay i've been explaining to you guys for a while now right that right now what's going on is we have that uranus energy has been sitting in taurus for a little while now and it's really been functioning on how you make money how um your 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 possessive things it's been calling people to grow up to level up to pay attention to how money is being made to pay attention to how they can make money um so you what you can find now this can be a very beautiful portal for some people that has ideas that wants to move forward with the ideas if you're tapping into this energy you find a group or community that can support that you're going to see that things are going to be flowing but if if you're if you're still centering your energy around people right that is fearful okay which jumps into today's topic today's topic is really about you being bold and being fearless okay so if you're walking around and you're walking around with fear and you're walking around with anxiety please understand that is putting into the energy pool of what you're going to see the seeds that you're planting now what you're going to see them produce as we as we move throughout the zodiac wheel for the rest of the um the, the the calendar zodiac wheel remember we just entered a new zodiac year when we hit every season okay um i apologize guys we got 
people mowing their lawn and a lot of stuff going on if you guys can hear any of that in the background so you want to be mindful of that okay this is new energy establishing yourself in this newness all right especially around your finances stability support okay those are the important key factors that we're working on right now okay does this bring me stability does this bring me the support that i need okay and if it's not do i need to rebel do i need to make some changes do i need to break sh and smash it up and rebuild again okay so please be mindful of that all right so we are at day number 16 we have 84 more days left okay um as we're moving throughout the 100 day level up journey all right so with that being said you're going to be able to move fearless through this energy all right so it is okay for you to be afraid but you're going to have to learn how to be do things afraid in this season okay do things afraid in this season you're gonna have to push past that fear and do things even if you're afraid this season yesterday we talked about walking around in expectation right so today right are you going to be walking in your limitless energy right fearlessly and boldly right or are you going to not do things because you're afraid so you know i feel like the best way for anyone to really grow and learn is to, you know, when you're, when you're doing this type of work, it's really to maybe give some examples so people can have some real-time examples of, of how things work. So I told you guys that I was, you know, working on manifesting something different because I've made some, you know, decisions and choices that um, I'm worthy of some, some stuff. So I'm pulling it to myself. I'm doing the work, you know, like whether it's mentally, physically doing what I need to do, you know, um, having to invest, whatever it takes, I am moving through the steps and i'm actually quite proud of myself because some of these things are things i've never done before okay um so i have to do these things that i've never done before um to establish some things which is kind of you know like initially when i sat with all of this in my head and how i wanted to proceed with it i actually paused for months because um i, I don't think i was mentally prepared or emotionally prepared um to actually take the physical steps okay which is fine because i did the work then that was needed to do i'm no longer in that season where i had to mentally prepare myself or emotionally prepare myself because now i'm mentally and i'm emotionally fortified so that's not an issue right now the stage that i'm that i'm at now and this is what i'm saying positioning yourself is going to be important right so the stage where i'm at now is the physical aspect the doing which is not by coincidence why because we're in the fourth month of the gorgarian calendar year right we talk about the number four being the um the symbol of the square we talk about the number um the square being the symbol in astrology of obstacles things that you have to overcome we talked about the number four also being linked not just to um um you know uh astrology um but also when you start to deal with numerology the the four is at the center of the doing plane, the physical plane. Now, why is that important? Why is the four, right, in the center of the doing plane important? Because anything that is in the center is the core. Let me repeat that again. Anything that is in the center is the core, right? So if we have the number four, okay, being in the center of the birth chart, okay, we have the number four being in the center of the birth chart when you're dealing with numerology, right? We know the number set, number four represents being able to be practical. It also represents you being able to be organized. We know that, right? So the next thing that you want to add with the number four, if you're throwing in a little bit of astrology, you know that you're going to have to be able to go through some things so you can overcome some things to get to the next step, right? So this is that energy that we're in. It started off with the Aries energy, right? And as soon as we flipped over to April, that Aries and we you came into Aries energy um, at the end of March, right? That started, that first house energy started to really, you know, ferment, right? As soon as we hit April, the fourth month, or within that fourth energy, okay, what you started to see is that now you actually have to apply the doing aspect. Taurus energy, um, when we move into Taurus season, it is all about what you have. It's about possession, stability, right? So you may have to do some things in order to, because that's earth energy, right? So there may have to be some work, you know, there may have to be getting on your grind, right? So you got that going on with the number four today, right? Now, so number four energy, this is where you're going to have to begin to embrace things fearlessly, boldly, okay? 
I also want to say this to y'all, okay? Um, number four, energy deals with you being able to motivate yourself. And that's going to be important as we move through the next 84 days of this journey, right? Uh, and, and, and let me just tell y'all, if ain't nobody, like even if this was just for me, y'all, okay? I'm not where I was 16 days ago, okay? I'm not. And I teach this stuff. And I'm telling you guys, within the 16 days, the way I move and I do things is different. And it flows so much more smoother. So, like, I'm just, I, and I'm being honest here, right? This is like, I'm, I'm going back to my beingness, my core, where I'm not really taking on everything externally, right? If it's not what my spirit is saying, and if it's not resonant and vibrate, I don't have to force anything. Do you know how beautiful that is? Do you know how much work I've had to do to get to this place? You know, just even to manifest a, a place that I could come and speak to you guys? This didn't just happen. This started back in 2012 when I left corporate America. You know, left corporate America knowing that I had a path to take, right? I thought the path was going to start in 2012. I didn't know that it was going to take all the way to 2021 for me to actually be able to say, wow, I, I did it. Now, let me also show you something with mysticism. 2012, 2021, when you flip 2000, when you flip 2012, and when you flip um, uh, the number 12, you get 21. When you flip the number 21, you get 12. Okay, you see how things are mirroring each other. Go back and look at the energy that you had going on in 2012 to see, right, how far you've come, to see what changes you may still need to adjust, to check your positioning in some things, okay? Today, we move in boldness and with boldness and we're, we're moving fearlessly. It's okay to be afraid, okay? It's okay to be afraid. You're just going to have to move fearlessly. Okay. Now, we also got double ones showing up in the date today. That's going to be important for you. Ones is the gateway to the physical realm. And let me just say this to y'all right now. Okay. We still have that energy once again of the doing energy. Right. That's the physical plane. So you're going to have to motivate yourself. You're going to have to get organized. You're going to have to get clear. You're going to have to learn through your experiences, right? Which means that you cannot get angry. Everything is all good. Everything is working out for your good. And if you get in that vibration, it doesn't matter how things look on the external, right? Now, there's a lot of misconception and things that we were taught, you know? Um, we were taught that life as we know it kind of ends on this plane, and we don't always get a bigger concept of how big and bold and um, vast life is, okay? So please understand, all right? There's aspects of you that you can tap into that you, you know, you may not have even known that they were available to you, but they can. So in the physical plane, you may have to do some things, get organized, get organized with your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, whatever you need to. But organization and doing is going to be necessary as you're moving throughout this month. And it's going to be necessary to today. You got um, two numbers vibrating on the physical plane. So there may be a lot of physical energy that some of you may have to exert today. You also have um, double twos showing up in the day. Okay. Gateway to the soul plane, trusting your intuition, high sensitive energy. All right. And with that double 11s, you want to be mindful to stay away from negative people also. All right. We also have the number three showing up in the energy. That's a gateway to the mental plane. That's where you begin to tap into your memory. Okay. So even from the aspect of the mental plane, what are we talking about? What are we talking about here? Creation energy. We're talking about you being able to take responsibility. We're talking about you being able to use your rational mind, your logical mind. We're talking about you being able to think, think for yourself. You don't have to walk around in fear. Sometimes you only have that fear because you have not taken the step to do that thing, right? So take that step to do that thing that you're afraid of today. Take that step to ask that question that you're afraid of asking today. Take that step to say that thing that you're afraid of saying today because you're afraid of hurting somebody's feelings, but you're walking around with your feelings constantly being hurt. Take that step. Move fearlessly and in boldness today. So your key word is full, uh, uh, fearless today. That's your code word. Fearless, okay? All right, my loves. Y'all know the deal, okay? Out of darkness comes enlightenment, okay? Make sure that you do something kind for yourself, honor yourself, love yourself, okay? Uh, and I also want to say 
live start tomorrow okay on instagram and on facebook as well as you can tap in and make your 50 dollars donation for the zoom cast which is going to start on saturday and they run from saturday um in april to about this july 3rd okay all right i'm gonna see you guys in tomorrow's daily vibration have a wonderful day my loves bye